Hey, it's Jay. It's been a really long time since I've updated. Um, I don't think I've updated for, I don't even know, probably some six months or seven months on testosterone. Um, so today is June 1st, 2009, and I'm 10 months on testosterone. Uh, last time I talked to the uh, YouTube universe, I was about to move to San Francisco, and I've been living here now for about three months. I moved to San Francisco the first week of March, and it took Greyhound across the country, which was really crazy. Um, <laughs> I don't want to do that again, but it was a really interesting experience. Um, but uh, yeah, it took me two and a half days to get to SF, and uh, yeah, I had a really hard time finding a job and a place to live. I was staying with a friend for the first month, and uh, I quickly got a job at a Ben and Jerry's at Fisherman's Wharf, and I worked at several different locations, and it was awful. It was one of the worst jobs I've ever had, and I could only put up with it for about a month, and then my hand got so fucked up that I couldn't even, like, scoop ice cream or handshake, like, give somebody a handshake or anything, like, so I said bye to that, and I figured I'd just figure it out later, you know, I'd, I'd find something, and I haven't, you know, so I've been doing a lot of odd jobs, um, and it's been tough. So, and finding a place to live was really hard too. Um, the guy I was originally supposed to live with in April flaked down on me. So I've been living on a couch for the past um, almost two months and uh, now I have a room. Um, and you know, it's in a part of town that I probably wouldn't have picked in the first place. I live in Sunset. Um, but it's really quiet and it's really cheap and I actually happen to just fall into a patch of trans guys that live within a couple blocks of where I live, um, including Charles, who's on YouTube. Um, he and I knew each other a long time ago in uh, the South. So, yeah, so that's been kind of cool to hang out with him and uh, all the other guys around here. Um, what else? So, um, yeah, I mean, as far as like the hormones, you know, my body hair has been increasing. My voice, I don't think it's changed a whole lot, but it seems to have gotten a little bit lower when I listen to my tape that I've made of, uh, you know, me pre-T to now, I've had a little uh, cassette recording of my voice. Um, yeah, I think my muscle definition is getting a little uh, more pronounced, even though I don't do anything to warrant that, other than walking around, because I don't have a car, so I take public transit and walk everywhere, which is, uh, you know, public transit here is the kick smart as ass, frankly. Um, yeah, uh, you know, my anger and sex drive is pretty non-existent still. Um, and, uh, you know, interestingly enough, since moving to San Francisco, I, I seem to be leaning more to the gay side of my sexuality, but uh, I don't think that's that surprising, um, given that I have a lot more opportunity to be around men who can respect my gender um, and get that I'm a man, so that feels a lot more affirming for me. Um, yeah, let's see, what else? So I've been doing a lot of burlesque, um, which is great. Um, I've got a lot of shows both in the city and also in Oakland with debauchery. Um, I'm going to be performing at um, Santa Cruz Pride, which is exciting, um, and that's going to be this week. And what else? Um, yeah, so I'm looking into surgery options. Um, hopefully I'm going to make that happen within a year. Um, I'm also looking at going back to school because uh, school out here, City College, pretty affordable. And um, I think, you know, I've just been so focused on being able to access medical transition. And that's like I had to rearrange my entire life around being able to do hormones and change my name and get surgery and like all I've been able to think about for the past, I don't know, five years of my life is like being able to have top surgery and so I've been scraping together everything I have to make that happen and this is the closest I've ever been to making that happen and you know frankly I don't I don't really know what I'm gonna do um, once I have chest surgery with my life. It's just like here's the rest of my life which is also an amazing and freeing thing but also really fucking intimidating to you know figure out well what the hell do I do now? because you know, I haven't had the luxury of, you know, being able to take the time to figure that out because I've been so focused on that. I had to drop out of school in order to afford hormones and name changes and all that shit in Georgia, you know, which is another thing that's kind of amazing about San Francisco is the fact that there are just so many resources out here. And I, I frankly wish that I had come out here a couple of years earlier because I could have really used a lot of the stuff that's available here to guys. Like, it's really insane. Um, 
that I get my hormones covered for free, the fact that I can get therapy and and the doctors out here aren't quite the gatekeeping assholes that they were in Georgia, you know, and that's not a blanket statement. They're definitely, you know, my therapist worked with me and was amazing and, you know, there are definitely doctors that are good and doctors that are bad everywhere, but my personal experience was six different doctors before I got help, you know, and that's that's not okay. Um, but yeah, uh, what else? I don't know. Um, I've been hanging out with a lot of queers, going to dance parties, having a blast. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, really glad that I, I made this decision. I think it's one of the best choices I've made in a long time. You know, I, I can't say for sure how long I'm going to be out here, but I'd like to be here for a while. Um, you know, and it's, it's a very different kind of place than being in the South, and there's some things about the South I miss, and a lot of things that I don't, and, you know, we'll see where I'm at. Um, in the immediate future, my uh, folks are coming to visit me in July, uh, so that should be interesting. I've also been working on a moped, uh, which is back there, and it's uh, come along real slow, but uh, hopefully one of these days it'll be up and running, and that'll be awesome. Um, yeah, so that's been my life for the past couple months, and uh, I'm sure I'll probably update in another two months when I'm on a year on testosterone. So, good talk to y'all, and uh, I'm sure I will see you soon.